Oh, hello boys and girls. Welcome to it. Thought I'd do something a little bit different today. Um, as you all might be aware, there's a few new trails out here at Eastern Escarpment. And I was having a look on trail forks at what sort of times people were running out here. And I noticed that the first time I came here, on this trail over here, uh, Escalade. I had actually came ninth overall for the, um, the climb up Escalade. So I thought, right, is it possible to get the king of the mountain or top of the leaderboard? Um, I'm only about a minute and 15 seconds behind the number one spot. So I brought my bike out here today. The rain's cleared out. It's a nice sunny day, not too hot. So we'll go give it a go, I suppose. I've never actually got a king of the mountain before. I don't really go for them, but I know they exist. So it would be kind of cool if I got one. I think I've come second and third a few times. I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up later, but um, I think I'm in for a real chance. The benefit I have here is, well, I actually just got some brand new tires. 2.3 so a little bit thinner than before so that should help but i also know the track there's not too much competition for now so i think get in while i can and see if i can snag the top spot for at least a, a few days anyway let's get to it by the way i look and feel ridiculous got the full lycra on but i've got the the flat shoes and the enduro helmet, so who knows what's going on here. Okay, let's get a nice little run in. Now, I don't know where the trail actually starts, so I think I'm just gonna go as hard as I can from basically the large uh, standing area. All right, here we go, attempt number one. This is probably gonna be the best attempt trying to get this number one spot. See how we do. Five minutes and something seconds of pain. <laughs> and the thing that I have working against me is I'm up against all the e-bikes and cross-country hardtails. There's not going to be too much talking. In this video. Oh man. My throat's like burning. It's weird. Oh man. Oh, definitely at my limit here. Oh. 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 There's the finish. Okay. 
Oh man. Hey mate. Hey, good man. Oh, how's the conditions down there? Oh, yeah. Hours, hey. Sorry, don't mind me. Oh, okay. Well, if that isn't number one spot, that's about as fast as I'm able to go anyway. So, call it um, call it that, I suppose. Oh man. It's like I don't know if you guys have done like the punchiest, fastest trail climb in your life from like nothing as in like stationary to climbing. But you get this weird feeling and it goes from your throat, it starts in your throat. It goes all the way down into your lungs, just all the air you're inhaling and exhaling. It's like you're breathing in the forest at rapid rates. Oh man, I'm pretty pooped. I think I'm gonna go back down and uh, maybe get some B-roll. Who doesn't love a bit of B-roll? Let's do a casual roll back down. I don't have my knee pads on or any protective gear besides my helmet, so we'll take it nice and slow. Oh, the berms though. It's hard not to want to go fast. All right, result time. So I have the results here. Wow, okay. So on Strava, which I wasn't, wasn't really racing against, I came seventh with a time of five minutes and 18 seconds, which is pretty good. And on Trail Forks, which was the one I was going for, because you know, Strava doesn't count. <laughs> I got a time of, on Trail Forks, four minutes and 59 seconds. I got under five minutes on the climb. I am uh, very happy with that. I took the number one spot. Can you believe that? The guy that's coming second is a good 22 seconds behind me. It's wild. I guess the challenge now is I want every single one of you to come out here, bring your fancy cross country bikes, your e-bikes. I want you to get up that hill faster than I did. I wanna see if it can be done. I'm sure it can, but what's a bit of friendly competition every now and then? Anyway, I'll catch you at the next one.